Hey, what's up, guys? It's Kazoo here, and welcome to episode 3 of the Fatal World Tour. And if you don't know what this series is about, I would recommend to check out the playlist in the description and down below. But anyway, we're going to start off by, of course, upgrading two of our players. And uh, in the previous episode, I gave you guys two pairs. And pair one was the winner with over 4,500 likes. So thank you very much. Uh, the two players we're going to be adding are Inform Alexis Sanchez and Inform Yaya Toure. And my plan is actually to use Alexis Sanchez as a striker or as a center forward. It kind of depends how it, uh, how it will work out because this is the formation I eventually want to play with. It's the false nine formation you can see right Right there that Asaidi is completely out of position so he will most likely be the player we are going to be upgrading at the end of this episode so uh, yeah that means uh, Alexis Sanchez will now be playing as a center tech mid which is not too bad because overall he looks like a really really fun uh, fun player to use and uh, you can see on the right hand side we still have 47k left which is the amount of coins we also earned in episode 2 and I know a lot of people actually got kind of confused with me actually like spending coins and stuff and actually carrying coins over to the next episode so there will be a screenshot somewhere on the screen which kind of explains how it works you can also find it in the description for uh, for those that are actually confused when it comes to coins carrying over to the next episode but anyway we're gonna jump into the first game where we come up against a team which actually was named two Messi's we uh, played against a lone Messi and also team this season Dybala who is still extinct on ultimate team but um, he looks amazing and he was also very very good in this game uh, the first chance was for us then on the counter attack in the seventh minute he got through there with Lionel Messi a nice shot there where he actually hits the post so a big chance for my opponent as well then uh, a few minutes later from a corner we do clear it away then uh, I try to head it away there with Balassi I think but he picks it up with Alonso then from the view out it is actually Lima Messi with a header to make it 1-0 for my opponent and that means we go down uh, 30k which is of course not really a great start but considering it was still pretty early on into the game it didn't really matter that much since we had a lot of minutes left to actually score and uh, that is actually what we did in the 16th minute we got the debut goal there with Alexis Sanchez, which is nice in his first game. To make it 1-1, give us a 30k, which uh, which now means we're currently on zero coins in this game. But anyway, we move on. 27th minute, I was about to shoot with Bolasi, and then we get fouled, which uh, of course means we do pick up a penalty since it was inside the box. And that's of course the main man who steps up for that is Bolasi, and we make it 2-1 to, uh, to give us a lead in this game and actually give us the first 40k in this game, which is really, really nice as well. So um, yeah, we do take the lead. Then 35th minute, another chance. I would Bolasi. I tried to go with some skill moves. We lose the ball, then we pick it up with Matic. I think it got deflected by his defender, and then from the rebound was his goalkeeper with a nice little save as well. Then uh, just before off time, 44th minute, I tried to go for a near post finish, but again, his goalkeeper was there with a really, really nice save. Then uh, we already move on into the second half, where it is again uh, Alexis Sanchez on the ball with some really, really nice skill moves. Plays it off to Matic, who was completely free, and he taps it in at the far post to make it 3 1 in our favor and also pick up another 30k. And it is point I thought it was game over but that was completely not the case because from that point onwards it was mainly my opponent creating most of the chances especially with this guy Dybala just look how he actually just ran through my whole defense and my midfield I maybe could have tackled him but I didn't really want to risk a red card so I just let him through so so easily which uh, which meant he scored which was annoying uh, then 83rd minute he got himself another big chance where he actually hit the post so could have been a 3-3 but then in the 88th minute we go on the counter attack this time a lovely pass there to Bolas so we got past the goalkeeper and we tap it in once again this time to make it 4-2 to pick up another 40k and this time actually definitely make it game over because um, yeah that is how the game ended as well we won 4-2 we got two goals with Balassi go with uh, Sanchez as well on his debut and also go with Matic which is nice as well you can see at the very end uh, Balassi got man of the match and um, yeah we got actually 80k from this game since we also conceded two goals so you can see from the final stats it was overall a very very close game and also pretty a pretty intense game to be fair but anyway our coin total right now is 127k which is a nice amount but uh we still got one more game left we go into the second and final game of this episode where we sort of came against a non-rare Barclays Premier League team with also two silvers I think Shelby and also uh, Danny Ings there from Burnley as a center mid but um yeah it's us starting off there once again Erdan into the game uh, we play it off there to Bolasi we go one on one versus the goalkeeper we went for a shot and I was actually surprised that it went wide it's not even on target so again a big chance for us uh, at the at the start of the game. Then the 33rd minute, we got past the goalkeeper. You can see at the bottom, I press B, but for some reason, 
Bolasi just wasn't be able to shoot, he completely refused, I don't know what it was, but it was very, very annoying. And then on the counter-attack, you can probably see it coming already, he went through down the wing with Johnson, cuts inside with a really nice fake shot to beat two of my defenders, and then he puts it into the far corner as well to actually make it 1-0 for him. So just a perfect well-timed counter from my opponent to actually give him the lead in his game after that big, big chance we had as well with Bolasi. But uh, then the 44th minute, just before time, could have been an awesome goal with Bolasi. A really nice back heel shot, but I think it just got blocked off by the goalkeeper or by his defender. But then from the rebound, nonetheless, we do put it in to make it 1-1 and uh, pick up 40k as well, which is nice. So uh, currently in this, uh, in this game, we're currently on plus 10k, which is pretty sweet. In the second half, we got a chance with Matic, but we couldn't really quite hit it on the target, so I uh, completely went wide. Then a uh, 63rd minute, some awesome stuff there from Quadrado. Really, really nice skill moves we play it over to Sanchez who goes with a nice volley and we make it 2-1 to give us a lead in this game and also pick up another 30k you can see from the replay uh, right after that it started lagging a little bit which was kind of annoying especially when uh, when I tried to like sort of extend the lead in this game uh, we got some chances here as well with Sanchez and Bolasi couldn't really get past his defenders and uh, we picked it up with Bolasi again tried to go with some skill moves some nice defending as well from him in the very end then uh, in the 90th minute it is my opponent on the ball there we do defend it very very well there then uh, I tried to go on the counter attack try to at least get one more go at Balassi try to get another 40k but we actually got stopped by Kalk who also had a yellow card which meant he picked up his second yellow and therefore he got sent off in the 90th minute but um, it didn't really matter that much since it was very very late in the game uh, that is how the game ended as well we ended up winning 2-1 to one. unfortunately we uh, we couldn't really score that many goals we only got 40k when it came to match coins and uh, you can probably see from the final stats as well we could have or maybe should have scored more goals but um, that is how it sometimes goes in FIFA so uh, the amount of coins we get to spend in this episode is 167 Okay, we move on to the pairs as per usual there will be two comments in the comments down below with pair one or pair two just let me know which one you prefer by leaving a comment or leave a thumbs up on the comment that says pair one or pair two but anyway the first pair is team this season Santi Cazorla and team this season Klein just like the one we had in the previous episode it is a little cheaper though because of the price ranges which is nice so uh, we only have to spend just under 148k then uh, we move on to pair two we got team this season David De Gea and another five star skiller that is Adel Tarept only cost one 105k but as per usual as I said at the start of this episode we get to spend the remaining coins in the next episode as well which is nice but uh, anyway guys that is pretty much going to be on this video hope you enjoyed it if you did then make sure to leave a like would be very much appreciated and if you can hit 2000 likes that would be absolutely awesome so thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys later bye bye